The last week, we looked at how to use Zencaster to record a podcast episode. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Zencaster Pro, which is a create a pro plan. You get a lot many features in Zencaster. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Zencaster Pro and use some of the soundboarding options that are available to the pro users. So let's get started. Hello and welcome to TPU TV. This is Dilip. If you don't know me, then I'm a blogger, podcaster and affiliate marketer. And on this channel, I share a lot of simple, practical and implementable podcasting tips, which should help you get started with your own podcast. And if you're new to podcasting and want to get started with your own podcast, then you might want to join my free course on how to get started with your podcast in 10 days. The course is free to join. You can find the course at thepodcastinguniversity.com forward slash free dash guide. You'll be able to find a link to this course in the description box below. Go ahead and join the course and get started with your own podcast. Now on to today's video. In the last video, I showed you how to use the free Zencaster plan to record your podcast and do some of the basic post processing in terms of editing your audio and then publishing it. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Zencaster Pro plan and how you can use a soundboarding feature that is available only to the pro users, which will help you do a lot more with the audio that you have recorded. So let's get onto my desktop and see how to use a soundboarding feature on Zencaster and edit your podcast episodes. Okay, so here I am on the Zencaster dashboard to get started with your own podcast episode. All that you need to do is just click on new and hit episode. I had recorded all of this process in my last video. So you can go and watch that video if you want to know how to create a podcast episode on Zencaster. So now what you do is we want to record an episode. You also have an option of uploading a recording. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to record an episode. I'll click on this button and it will take me to a page where it'll ask me to name the episode. So let me name it as episode number 120. I only want audio. So I'll select this one and I click on create. And it will take me to a page where I can start recording my podcast episode. Now, there is a slight difference here. If you notice here that it was only this option that was available in my last video because it was a free account. Now, in the pro account, you'll be able to find this new option, which is basically the soundboarding option. So here you'll be able to upload as many audio files as you want, which you can then use live on your podcast recording. So you can upload music, intro, whatever it is that you want, and then mix that live while you're recording your podcast episode. So what this does is it saves you a lot of time that you would otherwise spend outside of Zencaster editing and mixing all of this audio into your podcast episode. Here, what you're doing is you are playing that music and recording it and mixing it live with your podcast episode. So thereby saving a lot of that post editing time that you would otherwise be do spending in terms of mixing all of this. And it is pretty simple. There is no difficulty in using this. And you can even use this when you're recording an interview with your guest. So it's that simple. And this is also extremely beneficial if you have different segments in your podcast and you want to use a music to differentiate between segments. You can use this option when you're recording podcast episodes with different segments as well. Now, there are a couple of things that you might want to keep in mind. But before that, let me just tell you what each of these things mean. Now, you, you can see that I have uploaded two of these audio files here. This is basically a uh, music that I'm going to use. And this is the intro that I'm going to use for my podcast episode. Now, there is a loop icon here. If you click that, this audio will keep playing in a loop once it if you click it and it starts playing. And this is basically where you will be able to adjust all of the volume for this audio. So you'll be able to increase and decrease the volume. And it is there on pretty much all of the music files that you'll be uploading here. Now, if you want to play a particular audio, you can also do that by clicking the number key on your keyboard, depending upon where it is. For example, this is going to be number one, this is going to be number two and so on. So you don't need to individually click these files for it to start playing. You will be able to click the number and it should start playing. And one thing that you might want to keep in mind, this is a limitation that I've seen on the soundboard feature on Zencaster is that after you've recorded your episode, 
using the soundboard feature which means that you first use an intro and then use an outro music towards the end what basically happens is when you go into the post processing feature you will find that a lot of this music actually overlaps your conversational audio so your core audio but when you post process it and download the episode everything looks fine so this looks like it's a glitch with the system and i'm sure the support team will be working on it i've already notified it to the support team and it looks like maybe it is uh, the a problem with the internet bandwidth but whatever it is this is something that you might want to keep in mind but rest assured that the audio should just be fine and it is pretty simple all that you need to do is just you as usual click the start recording button and then you click on the audio that you want to play and it will start playing so what i'm going to do is i'll click the start recording button and then i'll click this intro here so that the intro plays and once that intro is complete i will record a small 30 second audio which is going to be my podcast episode audio and once that is done i'll give it a few seconds and then i'll click this audio which is basically the outro audio that i'm going to play and then we'll go into the remaining process so let me quickly get started with the recording so I click start recording and it should start the recording. So I'll first be using the intro music and then I'll record a short audio. I'll be fast forwarding all of this and then I'll come back in a bit and show you how to go about doing the complete processing of this audio. The intro music has played. Now I'll record a short clip and then I'll come back to the outro music. So that is all that I am recording for this particular podcast episode. And now what I'll do is I'll click this music here so that the music plays over my voice and then it gradually fades off. So I'll click this music and the music has started playing and it'll play on for maybe another couple of seconds until i click on that and it slowly fades off so this is going to be the entire audio for this particular podcast episode and now i'll click this audio again so that it fades off gradually and i have stopped the recording so that is all that i'll be recording for this episode and you'll be able to see that there is a new option that appears here which is a soundboard track basically you'll be able to see that you'll be able to download the soundboard track now this is another feature that Zencaster is offering you which basically means that you will be able to download the soundboard track as a different track and if you are using an external editor to edit your podcast episode you will be able to use these two tracks and you don't have to go about aligning the audio mixing it again so all of that process is something that you will be able to avoid. You can use some of the basic audio editing, polishing, etc. and then produce your podcast episode. So it is that simple. That is an option that is available on uh, Zencaster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this podcast on Zencaster itself. So all I need to do is just click on this create your podcast and it will take me to a page where I'll be able to produce this podcast. So I'm on the produce page and you'll be able to see that the recording is here. I can download this recording, which is basically a mixed recording, which means that the soundboard track is already integrated into the audio. And if you want, like I had shown in the last video, you'll be able to do some of the audio settings here. So all of these options are there and you'll be able to adjust the video settings, etc. if you have a video. And then you can go about uh, producing this audio. For example, the post-production is where you'll be able to uh, see all of the post-productions that will be there. So what we are going to do is we are going to produce this recording. Now, first, let me quickly play it for you. So there it is. To the, the intro is playing first. For help on your own let me that forward it. Now, all that I need to do is just click on this produce button and it will produce the audio for me. So it says waiting, processing audio. It will take a few seconds for the processing to finish. So the post processing is done. The production is complete. You can see here post production complete. And the audio is here. You can name it if you want or you can download it or finalize and publish if you click on finalize and publish you can drag and drop the image add the episode title etc and publish the episode 
or if you just want to download it you will also be able to download it so that is how you will be able to use the soundboard on Zencaster Pro so I hope you enjoyed this video if there is anything else that you would like to learn more about Zencaster then do let me know and I'll create another video for you so I hope you enjoyed this video and you found this video useful if you did then do consider subscribing to this channel so that you stay updated with all of the latest videos. And don't forget to press the bell notification so that you are updated with all of the latest videos. And if you like this video, then do give this video a thumbs up because that will help others also find this video. If there is anything that you would like to learn more about on podcasting, then do comment below and I would love to make a video for you. And if you have any questions around Zencaster, you can drop them in the comment section below. If you want to look at the Zencaster Pro plan, then I have a discount coupon for you. You'll be able to find that in the description box below. Go ahead, use that and join the Zencaster Pro plan. You'll be able to get a discount on the first couple of months. That is all that I have for this video. I'll be back again the next week with another interesting information around podcasting. Until then, Keep watching TPU TV and you all have a wonderful rest of the week.